Hi, my name is Justin Lovett. My family and I just did an international flight from Korea to the USA and then back from the USA to Korea. In the next 30 seconds, I'm going to try and give as many tips as possible on traveling during COVID-19. So let's get a timer up here and let's go. Most countries now do require COVID-19 PCR negative tests within 72 hours of boarding the flight. Even the US requires you to have a negative PCR COVID-19 test and even domestically. Check the WHO website, check cdc.org, organize all your documents in an easily accessible folder. Check the travel restrictions in the country you're going to. If you're worried about touching things, get an electronic boarding pass, pack extra masks, extra sanitizer, extra wipes because you can wipe things down in there. Plane. Be aware that your flights are subject to change. Be flexible. Anyways, hope that was helpful. Hope some of these websites are helpful to you guys. If you have any other questions, you can contact us or I recommend checking your own government state website or if you want, check CDC, WHO. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any other tips for traveling. If you're a US citizen, there's a great program called STEP that you can sign up with and they'll give you up-to-date information on COVID-19 related issues, internal issues in the country, or other things that might affect US citizens in that location. Call your airline before you leave just to see if their policies have changed at all. Do know that because of how airlines circulate their air and updated their air filters, the air is quite safe on airplanes. The only problem is when they get overcrowded. But at the moment, if you're flying internationally, planes are not crowded. Domestic flights, from what we've seen, have been very crowded. Maybe it's changed in the US since the required negative PCR test. If you're traveling within the USA, you can use the CDC's website. It's called Travel Planner and you can type in which location you're going to and they'll give you websites that have up-to-date information on what the policies are in that area regarding COVID-19.